How often we forget all time. When lone, admiring nature's universal throne, her words, her wiles, her mountains, the intense reply of hers to our intelligence. In youth, I have known one with whom the earth in secret communing held, as he with it in daylight and in beauty from his birth, whose fervid flickering torch of life was lit from the sun and stars. Whence he had drawn forth a passionate light, such for his spirit was fit, and yet that spirit knew not in the hour of its own forever what had over it power. Perhaps it may be that my mind is wrought to a forever by the moonbeam that hangs over, but I will have believed that wild light fraught with more of sovereignty than ancient lore hath ever told, or is it of a thought? the embodied essence, and no more, that with a quickening spell doth over us pass, as dew of the night time over the summer grass. Doth over us pass, when as the expanding eye to the loved object, so the tear to the lid, will start which lately slept in apathy, and yet it need not be, that object hid from us in life, but common, which doth lie each hour before us, but then only bid with a strange sound, as of a heart string broken to wake us. It is a symbol and a token of what in other worlds shall be, and given in our beauty by God, to those alone who otherwise would fall from life in heaven, drawn by their heart's passion and that tone, that high tone of the spirit, which hath striven, though not with faith, with godliness, whose throne with desperate energy hath beaten down, wearing its own deep feeling as a crown.